Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Finney, coming at you this Tuesday afternoon from the balcony overlooking the New York Stock Exchange. And it's been quite the eventful Tuesday indeed, not just in terms of the stocks, but also in terms of my New York Mets winning eight in a row last night, going for nine once again against Miami and City Field. They can do it. But now it's time to focus on stocks, and you also know what time it is. It's nearly four o'clock. The markets, they're about to close. So let's get it started. It's time for a happy hour here in New York City. U.S. stocks trading higher this Tuesday afternoon as investors take in data ahead of the important Federal Reserve meeting that kicks off in just one day. But first, we have to talk about economic reports. Retail sales and industrial production figures missing expectations ever so slightly. August retail sales showing an increase 0.2 percent, but that missed expectations calling for a 0.3 percent gain. We also had July business inventories up 0.1 percent. August industrial production showing a decline of 0.4 percent. And September U.S. Empire manufacturing coming in at negative 14.7 versus the previous month's read of negative 14.9. Now, shifting focus over to Asia, the Bank of Japan holding its monetary policy steady at the end of its two-day policy meeting and still remaining optimistic about the domestic economy. Meanwhile, the Shanghai Composite over in China closing down more than 3.5% as concerns about China's economic outlook continued to take a toll on investors. In addition, crude oil futures rising 56 cents to 44.56 a barrel over at the New York Mercantile Exchange. Gold falling a little around $3.75 to 11.04 a troy ounce in this afternoon's trading session. And with no major market moves expected ahead of the upcoming Fed meeting, you have yourself a session right behind me right now where two stocks have advanced for every decliner. Let's now take a look to see how the markets have been shaping up to close out this volatile, yet at the still, same time, still quiet trading session. On the corporate front, check out the earlier ModernWallStreet.com market movers report with our very own Lelda Smeets. And it's time for an outro. Once again, the Mets pull away with another massive win last night in City Field. Another come from behind win. And here we go again. Can the, mates, can the Mets make it nine in a row? I think so. Super excited. And don't forget, we have a big announcement tomorrow from all of us here at ModernWallStreet.com. If you've been following us on Facebook, you know exactly what that announcement is. So get ready to be even more excited. For ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Winnick.